hidden inside its steel plates, is one of the greatest technological advances of the 20th century. The nuclear reactor. It's a revolution in the field of submarines. The reactor enables a sub to stay underwater for months, whereas previous conventional submarines were mere submersibles. They had a capacity to stay deep for a certain time, but after a while they had to surface and recharge their batteries. It was the weak point of submarines before the advent of nuclear propulsion. The electric batteries that allowed them to run underwater were fed by diesel engines, which could only recharge the batteries when the submarine was at the surface. They couldn't operate underwater, as they needed oxygen and had to vent their exhaust, a massive constraint at the time. They could stay underwater for a span of 48 to 72 hours at the longest. A limitation that makes submarines easy prey for planes and surface ships. With a boat like this, carrying nuclear missiles cannot even be envisaged. To provide a realistic deterrent, the vessel must hide underwater and never come to the surface. Back then, the equation is impossible. Until the advent of the nuclear reactor powered by uranium. Instead of having 100 tons of diesel, you have something like this. See, that's enough. People had never seen the like of it. You replace 100 tons of fuel with one gram of uranium and do what you want. Uranium is a heavy metal that is found all over the planet. Together with other materials, it keeps the mantle of the Earth at a certain temperature. The energy of uranium is immense. Yet to exploit it, you must succeed in concentrating it, and that's a highly complex operation. You can't just use the natural uranium that comes out of a mine. You need a special plant to do what is called enriching. 